Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop in and visit and check out my video. And here we got, I finally got the uh, Acetec Invicta pedals assembled, which is real simple. I mean, it really is just a couple, just a few little um, screws to go in there to hold, to put them, put them together, actually. I mean, they're really already assembled. Um, the only thing you got to do is put some of these, the pins in and put them together and, uh, connect the wire and that's pretty much it no it's i mean it's really no big deal uh it's more actually more work getting them out of the box but <laughs> they come really nicely packaged um and i'm really impressed with them so far i mean they look really really nice and of course um of course it's got the uh fluid reservoir there so it's got you know that and it's got the, like the two-stage clutch and of course, uh, so far, I mean, I'm really impressed with the quality and how they uh, how they look. But of course, the main thing is how do they perform? So again, um, basically, you know, you, you know, I have the Fanatec the V3 pedals, which you know they're okay, and I'm happy with them. And I'm not saying these will you know be any faster or anything like that. I really don't know. Um, I'm really just kind of going mainly just to try them to see how I like to feel, and I'm kind of going in a different way. Um, really the pedal by my choice with the Fanatec is pretty soft and, you know, pretty much a decent amount of travel. Um, so I, I kind of went with the soft route just to, to save my leg, just to try to keep, you know, since I do a lot of, you know, racing and stuff, um, I basically just didn't want to wear my leg out. So, but, but I'm going to try it the other way. This, these are mega stiff. So we're going to try that to see if it can help maybe some of my consistency and see if I can go any quicker. I don't know if I will or not, but, you know, those can be, you know, really stiff also. This is kind of, like I said, basically just going at, you know, basically kind of just going at a different route, so to speak, as far as the travel of the pedal. And, of course, I think one thing that the... The gas pedal on this is seems a lot stiffer, which I like. You can, I think, you can modulate it. As you can see, the springs, you know, right there, it's got like automotive return springs down there at the bottom. Um, so it's got, and of course, it's got that spring also. But the main one is that one right there, and of course, it's got one also on the brake and the clutch. So again, it really gives it some feel as far as you know modulating it. So again, I'm really interested to see how it's going to work. And, uh, of course, you guys will come along for my first impressions, and we'll see how it goes. So let's get them mounted on there and see how it goes. Well, I got them mounted, and um, no big deal, really. Um, anybody that has the RC chassis, you're basically um, going to have to drill holes just so you just so you know so make sure you have a really sharp drill bit because that floor pan is really he heavy steel uh, it's hard steel so you got to have a pretty good drill to get through it um but other than that um yeah since these are pedals are so new i mean they just came out pretty much um as far as production so basically uh they don't have the uh holes pre-drilled in here even though it's got holes all over the place i couldn't get nothing to match up so but basically i just went ahead and drilled them and mounted it that way uh, of course it comes with all the hardware to mount it as far as the bolts and all those things so that's no big deal um and the washers so um and of course then you just basically download the software that they give you the website uh you know to go to that and basically it's really simple and uh, you got to have unzip it to the PC and basically install it and then basically just calibrate your pedals, which is, again, it's super easy. Um, some of the easiest stuff I've seen as far as, you know, calibrations and things like that. As far as the, the brake, basically they, they measure it by bars. So depending upon how many bars you decide that you want to push down is what will equal 100%. So like I got like 24, 25 bars and, and that'll equal 100% brake. Um, and then like, but like somebody like um, Boosted Media, which did a review on these pedals, he's got his at like 37 bar. So again, I mean, just a different, you know, different, you know, pressure as far as reaching 100%. Um, again, I will leave a link to that video in the description because he did a, a really thorough review on these pedals and 
you know, better review than I could ever even think about doing. And he really goes over every facet of the pedals um, from start to finish. And that way, you know, if you're considering about purchasing them or things like that, it would probably, you know, you could really get a, an idea of everything. And he got the pre-production. He got pre-production and tried those and then then got the production pedals also to compare them. And, uh, but it's a really good video and very good channel and i'm sure a lot of you guys already know about though about that channel but um again i'll leave that link to that video in the description and um but anyway uh so far you know i've done a few i've done a few laps with them and i hope to do a race later today in the competition server so again i've been you know i did a few laps in a few different cars trying to see how i see what they you know how it feels and things and again the v3 pedals were fine it's just that I had them set, set up soft, so a lo pretty long throw on the brake, and um, or these are very touchy. I mean, you just very it's the exact opposite. So they're very very hard, and I can it's it it comes with like the bushings that go in there that you can make it even harder. But this is the stock the standard one that comes with it. It's a medium, and it's plenty hard enough for me. So basically, um, uh. You know, it comes with all the hardware to mount it, um, all those kinds of things, and um, it's pretty much a plug and play. I mean, it's really not a big deal. And I figured, figured we'd make a few laps, test it out here at Masano, and of course it was one of the new liveries. Uh, I figured it was fitting. <laughs> so um, let's go back in and head to Masano. And that's the last place I'd rate or I ran here with the AMG. So we'll load load a setup. And we'll see what we can make a few laps. Go, go, go. out of the pits here, make a few laps, and my cat is coming up to say hello. Definitely has a lot of throttle response, a little bit different. Leg don't give out. <laughs> I used to this heavy brake pedal. The main thing is modulating it, you know, like modulating it for trail braking and things like that. I got to get used to that. Said, trying to get used to these pedals, especially the uh, you got the gas, you know, the gas too. It's got some resistance to it, so it's got a little bit more pressure on it, which I don't mind that. It's pretty good because it's not real bad. It's just a little bit more pressure.
<laughs> we'll cut it more. <laughs> Get a decent lap. I said I'm not really big, too big on the lap time right now. Just kind of just seeing how the pedals are. See, he almost break too early. It seems like it's. It seems like the braking points are a little bit different. So again, something like I get used to. Um, I don't know, it's just maybe with a shorter throw, it's engaging it faster? I don't know. And I noticed my front tires and some of the other cars I ran in. Don't seem like they're coming up to pressures or uh, yeah, the pressure. So I've had to adjust that. So I don't know. Again, might have been something with the brake. You gotta change it, change my brake markers a little bit. down. Yeah, still not confident in, the, in these braking zones. feel good though I mean I really like it's different but I, I like it so it feels more like a real car just make my legs stronger <laughs> Tires are still down. They're down about a half, about a half a pound. Anyway, 
Like I said, the main thing is just trying to get an idea of what they feel like. Um, again, I'm really happy with them so far. Um, I mean, I don't think if you decide to purchase them, I don't think you would be disappointed. They're, and of course, they're supposed to come out with a whole ecosystem. Um, I'm sure they're going to come out with uh, pedals and steering box and the whole deal because um, that's what it shows in the software and their software that you can't select yet it's blanked out but it looks like they're gonna come out with some kind of ecosystem which would be kind of different so um, right now the quality that I see from their pedals is pretty nice um, I, I have no complaints again at all with it um, I still need to do some adjustments just to make them a little bit more comfortable as far as the pedal position um, but other than that, um, you know, everything looks top notch. And one thing I like about it is it's meant to be adjusted with no tools. So you don't have to take a whole bunch of stuff apart to, to, you know, make an adjustment and things like that. So it's very simple, very easy. I mean, it literally takes, you know, a couple minutes and you can make an adjustment. So that's one thing I really like about that. So, um, you know, over even though the V3s weren't that bad, I mean, really, but it was just a little bit more involved than these. These are really, really simple, and again, they really just very high grade quality uh, materials, and the software is is goof proof. So it's just a it's just a win win all the way around. So hopefully, it'll you know, I don't know. Again, I don't know if I'll be any faster, but you know, hopefully, I'll be a, maybe a little bit more consistent you know as i get my my uh muscle memory working right and all those kinds of things and you know maybe get a little faster would be nice it just seems like it does seem a little bit different i mean as far as my breaking points and things just a little bit different and of course the main thing is you know, any kind of trail breaking i have to basically kind of relearn relearn that so i'm hoping that again the more i practice the more i drive it'll come you know it'll start registering and uh you know, hopefully I, I can pick up a little bit of time. I, I think I can. I think it's there um, just in the, you know, in the way of doing it. And again, I probably would have picked up time with the Fanatex with the V3s if I would have just had them stiff, you know, really stiff. That's probably a lot better way to go because you're not, you're not moving your, your ankle and things like that. You're just using your thigh to, you know, to put pressure and to change it. So it's, you know, you're using the muscle, not a joint trying to trying to change uh you know the pressure as far as on the pedal so you're probably a lot better off by just using your thigh so again that's just a different way of doing it and um i think it's i think it's the right way to do it so um we'll see how it goes and um again any questions just leave your comments feedback uh in the comments i appreciate it you know, appreciate it but i mean any kind of questions um i'll try to answer the best i can but again i'll leave a link um, to that boosted media video and that he does a complete review on it i'll leave that in the description also so i appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you uh come back and visit again y'all take care see you